Always an exciting time of year to get back with the guys and then to come together in camp. Uh, obviously, going up to Whistler is going to be fun. Um, get back on the ice with the coaches and get some more structure in our uh, in the skates here. And you know, it's a like, very exciting time of year to come together as a team every time. Well, I expect that, you know, from what we saw last year to be uh, have really good skates. You know, he always would stop practice and take time to explain to us, like, you know, these are very important skates. So we need to be focused out the gate, you know, try to work on our habits and make sure our details and, um, you know, our pace is high because this is where you got to push yourself in camp. We've got a lot of players fighting for, for jobs and spots, and it's going to be an exciting, uh, exciting time over the next couple of days. Well, I just think competing in the playoffs and trying to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, you know, I've talked about that before where, you know, our expectation is to be playing uh, when it counts at, in April, May, and, and hopefully June. And um, everything we work for is to try to be there competing, you know, in, in the best of seven series to try to win the Stanley Cup. So, you know, I think we have uh, the players here to do that. So I think it's very important we hit the ground running and uh, kind of picked up from where we left off last year. And obviously last year shows how good of a, how important it is to have a good start. So I think we're focused on that. Well, yeah, we just got more depth this summer, right? Um, you know, the guys that are young aren't that young anymore. Everybody's maturing and everybody's a little bit more experienced. And I think we're just getting better every year as a group. And like I said, it's important to come together in camp and get that level, get that level high of, uh, you know, of expectation and, and work ethic and, and pace and your habits and all that. So now's a good time to come together like, uh, like he asked. JT, what have you seen in, even in the informal skates with the new guys? Uh, you know, if, you're, if you hit the century mark, if you're a 100 point team, that takes a lot of things out of the equation you're probably in. Does this, does this team have the potential to be a 100 point team? Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, like I said, if we just you know play like we did you know, since Bruce got here last year, um, you know, the results should take care of themselves. But we're just worried about having a good start. You know, we're not putting expectations of how many points we think we're going to get this year. You know, we want to be in the playoffs, and we know what that takes to get there. And, you know, like I said, we can, all we can focus is on is you know this camp and you know having good habits in camp and going back and having a good start to the season. So we're just going to try to worry about that and not uh, get too far ahead of ourselves. You're so dialed in on the things you can't control, JT, the way you play, the way you prepare. Uh, getting your deal done is that is that a piece of my thing? I know it may not have bothered you going in because you're confident in your abilities, but just to get the deal done and now you can concentrate. What does it mean to you? Yeah, obviously it means a lot um, for your organization to show that much uh, respect uh, and have that much faith in you. And uh, obviously I've said it a million times how bad I wanted to be here. So to have that out of the way and can have full focus on camp here is, uh, means a lot to me. Yeah, <clears throat> I love our back end. Uh, I thought we uh, grew us a... Uh, as a decor and as a team, um, so super excited about about that. But obviously, um, like Miller said too, uh, we need to have a better start uh, than uh, than last year. So that's what we're really focusing on. There's been a lot of talk about the possibility of you and Quinn potentially being paired together, whether that would be him moving to the right side or, or you. Uh, how comfortable would you be playing on the right side if, if that ends up happening? Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't know what's going to happen yet, but. Um, obviously, I think everybody wants to play with Quinn. Uh, ask anybody in the league. Uh, I think they would like to play with him. So um, that would be great. Uh, but at the same time, I think, uh, I mean, it's up to Bruce and, and what he thinks uh, is the best for the team. So, uh, but I would be up for, for anything, really. Oliver, with this idea of getting off to a good start, how does that come together in these next 10 days, two weeks over uh, training camp and, and preseason? What do you have to do to make that happen? No, I think it's great that we go and go into Whistler and, and spend uh, a few days up there and, and uh, kind of just be around each other. I think that helps a lot, but um, at the same time, I think it's a lot of work uh, on dice that needs to be done and uh, um, build on, on last year. Uh, I thought we, we played uh, really good the second half and, and uh, we need to, to get better and, and come, come together as a team. And I think um, the next two weeks are, are going to be huge. No, it's going to be hard, um, like every year. Uh, it's just nice to have Bruce uh, from from the beginning and, and uh, kind of get to work on, on, on some things that we, we didn't get to work on uh, at the beginning of last year and, and kind of just get going. It'll be fun. Bruce talked about on Monday about the fact you played so many minutes last year. He thinks there's a lot 
Yeah, I do. Um, I thought I uh, said at the end of last year that I th thought my uh, my game in, in D zone was uh, getting better and, and I felt comfortable uh, playing uh, down down low. Um, but at the same time, I want to jump in into place and, and uh, uh, help Quinn out, uh, putting up a little bit more points. And, and uh, but really, it's it's whatever they need me to do. Uh, uh, been in the league for a long time now, and I know that I can play in, in both sides of, of, of the rink. So uh, I'm really excited about this year. How does that dynamic change, Oliver? If you do play with Hughes, because you know you, got to, you can't have two. Somebody's got to stay home, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. How does that dynamic change for you if you guys are friends? I mean, I think uh, we have haven't played together uh, a lot. Uh, I was a few shifts uh, shifts uh, last year, but at the same time, I think. Uh, Quinn, Quinn cares a lot about D zone as well, and, and I think uh, he's reading the, the the game better than and, than anybody really. So I think if I go go up and have the puck, he's gonna take a little bit more uh, safety home. So uh, I think that's just uh, great to have two two options like that. So uh, it'll be great to, to to try it out. We'll see. JT, it's hard to imagine how you. Well, obviously, from a point total perspective, that's going to be hard to do. Um, like I've said to you guys a million times, and I'm not really evaluating myself on points. Is it nice to produce for sure? But um, I, yeah, I think I could be a more consistent player at you know 200 feet of the rink. Um, you know, maybe giving up a couple less to get a couple more type of mentality. And some of my favorite players in the league are 200 foot centermen. So I think that I want to try to push myself this year to really care a little bit more about my own end. And I always do, but you know, I evaluate myself honestly and I think I have a little bit more to give in the defensive end and you know being more fresh for that end and um, just making for I making sure I you know take care of there before I go the other way but uh, you know I'm not putting an expectation on stats or points for me like I say all the time if I play well and play solid and have my feet moving I think I'm uh, I think I'll, I'll produce so I'm just trying to focus on that. Playoff teams are great and goal and really good down the middle. How do, how do you like the way you guys stack up the way you're able to deploy your centers this year? Yeah, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what the what it's going to look like, but you know, depth is not an issue for us, that's for sure. And obviously, Demko is one of the best in the league. So, I mean, I uh, complete faith in our group, and I have a high expectation for us and a high standard and you know, high accountability accountability level for this group. So, I'm just excited to get to Whistler and get started. To be honest. Well, that's yeah. That's not really. I mean, I mean, I'm going to turn the puck over sometime. But of playing over 20 minutes a game, I have the puck a lot. So I mean, it's going to happen. Um, you know, the older I've gotten in my career, I think I've gotten better at realizing when it's time to make a play and when it's time to play direct. And you know, you know, most of the time when I'm playing direct is when I'm playing well. But I think in a sense of 200 feet is you know just being harder to play against. You know, I think I'm hard to play against in the offensive zone. I would really like to be th that hard to play against in the, in the defensive zone. So that's what I'm focused on. Um, we have a lot of talent up front. I don't need to have the puck the whole game. Um, you know, just being hard to play against so we can give up a little bit less in my own end, you know, so we can effectively spend more time in the other end and then let the instincts take over once I get there. JT, uh, Mikheyev <coughs> build is one of the fastest guys in the National Hockey League. I don't see signs of that in formal skates at eight rings, but just what is that element of speed you think is going to bring to? Uh, it's impressive. You know, I always knew he was fast. You know, Toronto obviously has some really fast players all the time. Um, he just has kind of another gear out there. Um, I've been caught by him several times so far, so it's pretty humbling. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome now that he's on our side. You know, I mean, I think he's a guy that can really just push back the defense with him without the puck and just creates bad gap for the other team. And I've played with some very fast players over the years, and it's it's really hard to play against. You know, when you have guys like that on the ice, they're. Uh, Obviously, on the penalty kill, his instincts and his speed and his good stick uh, is going to create a lot of havoc for the other team. So uh, super excited to have him. I um, haven't spent a whole lot of time with him yet, but he seems like a super nice kid, and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing him in action. What about Kuzmenko? Have you seen enough to have the look on what he might be able to do? Or is it a wild card in like, your mind like everybody else? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I don't really know anything about the guy. Um, 
uh, got a heck of a wrist shot, and he's at a high-end skill level. Um, that's very evident watching him for 30 seconds on the ice. So uh, summer skates are all good, but you know I think everybody's going to be evaluating themselves a little harder once we get up to Whistler and get into some preseason games. Uh, with the puck? Yeah. yeah uh, you know, I really learned to, you know, it's fun playing in the offensive zone, but honestly, I, you know, I talk with him in the D all the time. Like, I, I enjoy having it, you know, in the D zone, you know, I feel like as much as I do in the O zone. Like, breaking the puck out is such an important part of the game. You know, if you can't break out and you're just getting into the neutral zone and they're coming right back onto you all game, it's very hard to play. And so I think we take a lot of pride, and I'm very vocal with the defense guys and, you know, making sure we break the puck out. And I'm trying to be available and, Low and slow. I think it fits my game well. I'm not super fleet of foot out the gate anyway, so I, uh, you know, I'm always playing with very good skating wingers. So I think it's a good fit. You know, I talk a lot, and I really like demanding the puck in that end of the ice. And I think I've learned that over, like probably the second half of last year, of how important it is to have it in that end. If you, you know, have control of it there, the odds are you're going to have better control of it in the other end. So um, I think I've just learned to take a little bit more pride in it. Yeah, for sure. That's where I think I need to be better. I just don't feel like I'm that hard to play against for my standards yet um, without the puck. Um, I'm a physically engaged guy, but I think there's times without the puck I can, you know, I tend to puck watch a little bit. You know, it's, it's different for me. Like when you're playing winger, you're just worried about your positioning and blocking shots. And, um, you know, it's, not, it's a little less coverage wise. I mean, there's a lot of D-men that get involved now that make it difficult, but that's where I'm pushing myself to you know, create disruption and take pucks off the of sticks and be harder to play against down low, especially without the puck, I think is more what I was talking about. Correct. Yeah, without the puck as a centerman, uh, for sure. I just want to be a little bit harder to play against. Yeah, I think it means a lot. Um, you kind of know what to expect, and you know pretty much all of the guys. I think the comfort level is, is a little bit higher than, than last year, so uh, I think that's just going to benefit me. But at the same time, it's, it's some few uh, new guys and, and uh, that, that we're going to try to get, get to know here pretty quick. And uh, but yeah, I feel good, and, and I'm super happy to be back. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm honest to God. I know what I know. I'm supposed to do it. It's just hard to actually execute it. Like you want to know where the puck is all the time. So you're just and people are so good at getting in behind you and stuff like that. So without getting too into it, obviously, but it's just something I've been I've been thinking about it and I thought about it last year and you know it's something I'm gonna really push myself, especially in camp, to not worry about it so much and try to take care of my job in that end. Yeah, you just got to commit to playing defense. It's pretty simple. Okay. Um, JT, in order to be a playoff team this year, you're going to have to find a spot among the other teams that you would like to play on. Do you think that they kind of stack up? Yeah, there's some uh, teams that had some pretty solid additions, um, but they had some pretty significant subtractions as well. So. Uh, We've proven we can beat any team in the league since I've been here, and I think when we play our game, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. Like if we're worried about us and having a good start to games and the season in general, I think the results will speak for themselves. Uh, we understand that we have a good division, but honestly, it's going to make us a better team in the long run. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we've talked about that before. Um, I agree. Like, I don't. I got a lot of guys here sick of not making the playoffs, and uh, 
you know, our goal is to win the Stanley Cup and compete for the Stanley Cup. I don't think it, you know, your goal should never be less than that. You know, we get to the playoffs, that's, you know, that's one task. And the way we do that is focusing on everyday preparation and the task at hand. And it's, it really is very cliche, but like it's a very long process to get there. But if we all buy into that process and buy into the way the Canucks are supposed to play, I think there's no reason why we can't be there and competing for the Stanley Cup and, and at the end of the season. So yeah, I agree with him. I do too. How you good. Go ahead. Just earlier about Quinn potentially moving over to the right side, potentially playing with you. What do you think that would do for your game? You're a player that also likes the puck quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to bring my own puck, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, I think it will be uh, a lot of fun to play with Quinn. And, and I'm kind of that guy that just uh, feed off the other, the other D partner that I'm playing with. And, and I think that won't be any, any problems if that, that's the case that we're going to play together. Uh, so it'll be fun. Um, and I think he's going to help, help my game as well. He, he's moving the puck so, so good and, and he's moving and, and skating so well. So I think he will create a lot of chances for me uh, uh, on, the, on the blue line. No, he's just that good. Uh, I think uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we all have watched him a lot, so um, he does it all. He's, he's just a good skater, good puck handler, and, and he does it all. Like I said, he's, he's really good, and I'm excited if, if that's the case. Uh, so that'll be fun.